Hi there. So today I want to show you a project I'm working on using both Unity and Wise together, implementing some interactive music. So what I've got open here is a Unity session, and over here I have open a Wise session. So you can see they're both running simultaneously. So Unity and Wise can be connected together by downloading a plugin from the Unity website. Um, it's pretty interactive and pretty easy to use nowadays. So if you just go straight to their website, once you do download Unity, you can actually implement your software together but that's another tutorial so today I want to talk about the music and how I've kind of implemented the music within this game so first I'll just show you the game I'm gonna turn it down a bit so you can get an idea so the game itself let's go over to unity and I push play it's a little shooter so what you're gonna see is a little guy he runs around and tries to survive the night while all of his stuffed animals try to come and kill him so you can see we've got um, the nightmares start logo kind of screen with start and quick game there's our score time until dawn that's how long we have to survive and there's our health so if i push start you know he gets to run around in his bedroom of course he's tiny and he gets to shoot the teddy bears that attack him he's got a laser which makes it uh fun and he's got to survive so it's a pretty simple game right but it's uh it's a good ex way to uh explain some of this stuff show you what i'm doing so let me stop it here for you and we'll go back over to WIs. Actually, quickly before I go there, if you look here in Unity, Unity is the game uh, development software. This is the software they use to create the game. WIs is audio middleware. It's the music we use to connect to the game itself. Um, you can see down here in events that there's a bunch of events that have been programmed into this game. Um, lose, win, game music, etc., etc. some SFX stuff. Um, these are all things we're going to use in WIs uh, with sound effects and music to make the game work. So I'm going to pop back over to WISE here. Now, if you look in WISE, there's some tabs up here. This is a WISE interface, and I am in the interactive music layout, so I can see what's going on. Um, now, up here, we have some tabs. We have audio, events, sound banks, game syncs, share sets, sessions, queries. Um, these are the tabs we use to implement the game uh, music together, make it work, uh, and then we send it into the game, and, and we can test it. So. If you look under my interactive music hierarchy, this is where all my music elements are going to exist. Now, I've already created some stuff in here, and I've dragged it around. Um, music is brought in as segments. We can use those segments, put them into playlists, into switches, and then we can tag those switches to states and events that happen within the game. So the first thing I want to show you is some of the music. So down here in the bottom left, we have a little player. Um, this red light is occasionally on. Turn that off if you want to audition your music. It seems to uh, cause problems here and there. So you'll notice I've got some stuff. I've got some stingers. So I can hopefully test that. Let me just see here. Reset this. And let's go to stinger. So, so uh, here's one of my stingers. Right? And then over here, I've, I've written a few of these. Um, simply because they're just handy to have. They work the same kind of instrumentation that's in the music. Right? I can... Um, here's the second one. And I can put them and use them in different ways. That's kind of a neat one. I like that one. Um, anyway, so that's my some stingers. Now, if we go into the in here, these are some loops I've created. These are different playlists. Now I'll get a little bit more into this, um, but you can see that this is all part of one kind of big song. I've chunked it up into little bits, and I've made it so it can switch because I need it to be able to switch based on player interaction. So unlike music that I would write for film or television, this music is going to change based on what a player decides to do. So I want to make sure that the music can do that seamlessly as, as effectively as possible, and WYS is a great program for doing just that. So let's take a quick look here, a little bit shorter view. So I've brought my music into here, and I've created some things. Now, all of these things are different elements that I can create in my default work unit. So there's switch playlists, music segments. Any music I bring in is going to be brought in as a music segment. That's kind of like your track. Um, we have music playlists, which are just like any playlist, like you would have on iTunes, where I could switch tunes as I go. Um, and a switch container. Now, this is what we're going to use to make things happen in the game. So if I go into here, I've already created some switch containers. Here's one, the new music switch container. When I open this, this little plug-in, you'll see I have two little things I've created, gameplay music and menu music. So if I open up the menu music file, you're going to see some stuff. Uh, if I click on it, sorry. In the menu music, we've got a loop, 
and we've got menu music. If I go up into the gameplay music, we've got dusk, early evening, and midnight. So my thinking there is that he's got to survive the night. So I've created three different times of the night for him to try to survive. Dusk, early evening, into midnight. So if we go over here to our little tab, Game Syncs, we're going to see some stuff called switches, states, game parameters, and triggers. Now I've created some states. So if we go into my states, we have an enemy state, a game state, and a level state. If I go into my level state, I've created these. And you can do that by right clicking and create some states. Dusk, early evening, and midnight, which as you've probably noticed are named exactly the same as those playlists. So I have back over here in the audio tab under that gameplay music tab, you'll notice that in my gameplay switch container, I've added a path to the time of day dusk, early evening, and midnight, and I've taken these tracks, these music segments, and I've put them on each of these. So dusk has gone to dusk, early evening has gone to early evening, and midnight has gone to midnight. So looking inside of dusk, I have all these loops, and I've organized them in here. They don't appear in here. I actually brought these loops in to this playlist, um, and I've set them to go by step. I did that intentionally. You can set them to be random. Um, so it gives it some variation and some kind of randomness to the music. Um, I want my music to enter certain ways because I think it blends a bit better. So um, I've done this by step. I've organized these in specific ways. You can take a let's take a quick listen to dusk. So I hope you can hear that. So the um, you know it's kind of chill. It's tense though. So that's dusk. And then my second state it's going to go into is going to be early evening. A little more intense, right? And then at the worst, at the end of the night, as morning is approaching, we're going to go into midnight. Creepy, kind of arpeggiated synthesizer. Okay, you know, and your music can be whatever you want it to be. So for this one, I've chosen those three playlists. I've set up my loops in specific ways. Now, I kind of look at these things as folders. I keep my music tracks in here, but they're not like over here on the left where I'm circling with my mouse. I put, my, I can drag music into here and create segments. Um, but they're not actually in the playlist. They're not in the playlist till I bring them over here. So you'll notice in this playlist, for example, that I have four loops. I actually have six in here. Um, simply, I just I wanted to organize them a certain way. Uh, I didn't like the way some of them were moving, so I set it up in specific ways so it, I think it works a bit better. So that's our playlist, and they're tied to those states. Now, over here in my events tab, I've done some things. So if I go over to my menu music, MX menu music, and I click on that, double click on it, it shows me some stuff here that I've programmed. So the first thing I wanted to do when the menu music starts is stop everything else, set a state, which is menu. And as I mentioned over here in the states tab, I created the level state, I also created a game state. And looking within game state, you're going to see lose, win, menu, and win. So menu over here is where, are, let's get back to menu music, is over here. I've set game state menu. And I've set, you know, the parameter of my health is does kind of relevant. But I'm going to play my new music switch container, right? And in this new music switch container, I've set up my menu music. So when I start the game, that's what I should hear in my new music switch container, which is over here. Let's quickly go up back and look in. And here I have my menu music, right? Loop one and menu music. So I have these in here. But if you look over here in my playlist, only the menu music. I This was a loop I was testing. I didn't like it. So I kept the menu music. The menu music, you can hear it here. It sounds like this. Okay, so that works within the game now. So when I start, when I put this into the game, that menu music should play when that menu screen loads. Now, when it enters the game, I want it to switch into that dusk mode right, right away. So I, if you go into my little music switches, now you notice I said I want it to switch. <laughs> I use my switches. And over here in my gameplay music, now in this new music switch container, now we're not worrying about menu music anymore. I've got my dusk, my early evening, and my midnight. So if I go into gameplay music, I'm going to call that next so when i go into my events you're going to see uh, there's an event called game music so that's going to call the game music so when that happens i'm going to set a player state which is gameplay we're going to start playing the game and then i'm going to set a switch to go to dusk right there and i've selected that down here dusk so now if i've done it right 
then Dusk should play right away. Now, with that, though, maybe it's not going to transition so well. I wrote a little transition that that blends those two together kind of nice. And you can hear that here. It's called Menu Transition. So I wrote this specific little short piece of music. You can see it here. I put a fade in it. You could have some wave controls, some audio editing controls. Um, this Menu Transition, listen, is going to transition me into the Dusk playlist, which starts like this. See they and they mesh rather nicely, and I've set them up uh, in ways so that they mix nicely. And I'll show you where that is. So on my gameplay music over here, you'll notice I'll have some more tabs. Look at all this source settings, effects, blah blah blah. Over here we have one called transitions, and I've set up a transition that is going to exit the queue. It has a quick little fade out that I've set up here in the bottom, time and offset, and it's going to. And I'm not worried about the fade in because the other one just starts on that kind of. Boom. So I want it to hit. So I've set it up now. So when the menu leaves, the dust, the transition is going to play. And then the dusk music is going to play right after that. Now, within the game, I want it to change. So I've set up an event in here. Or sorry, a, uh, yeah, a game sync. I created a work unit, a switch called the time of day. Right? So not a state but a switch a little differently and I've called that dusk early evening and midnight as well so this is going to work a little bit differently than the than the states are the switch is going to switch something when I call that so if I go into that overhead switch this nice little graph comes in and I've actually assigned right here game parameters the time remaining percentage which is such, which has been programmed in as a game parameter down here as a work unit right so I'm calling that and then uh, starting over here, I've for the f for the first you know from 100 percentile down to 70 percentile, I want it to play the dusk music. From 70 percentile down to 30, let's actually change that up a bit because it's a bit of a longer playlist. Let's take that up to 35. It's going to play early evening, and then it's going to play midnight way out. Actually, maybe uh, you know, let's leave it there. So now, if I've done it right, then as the game timer runs out, these states are going to switch. To these different music playlists that I've set up. I know I'm going pretty fast, but I, I have to get this out. So, um, last thing to keep in mind: when we win the game or lose the game, we want a little sound as well, right? You won, hooray! You lost, oh. So, if I go over here into my events again, and I go over to my game win event, I've got some things here, and I'm calling. So, I'm stopping everything when the game is over and I'm gonna play stinger a well singer a is a stinger I wrote um, it's over here and it sounds like this so if you win the game you should hear right and likewise I've done the same thing with lose and if you lose I believe let me double check we'll go over to the events we'll go to game lose and we're playing stinger C so let's go over here and let's go to Stinger C and push play. So if you lost, you're going to hear that. Um, now, that's how far I am. I have a couple more things I want to try to implement, but I think that's a pretty decent overview of where we're at so far of how to get some things working within your game. So let's test it. So the, oh, the first thing I should say, so now I've written all this music. I've got it all in here. There's other things we can do. There's different views we can mix in here. There's mixer views. There's... You know, designer views when you're working with um, creating states and events and things like that. Now, here's a sound bank view. Now, this is important. So now, as I mentioned earlier, Unity and Wise are connected via a plugin. So the plugin calls a sound bank that we generate. And when we generate that, it's going to be called by Unity. So over here, if I've gone to my sound bank layout and I click generate, now I've got a bit of a buggy kind of thing here that happens, but... I get a little error for some reason. I think it's because I'm working with the trial mode, but the thing is if I close it and do it again, it works. So I'll generate it. Wise has a few funny little things that happens in it, but at the end of the day, it does a good job. I close it, it worked that time, and I go over to Unity and I play my game. Now remember, what should happen is I should hear my menu music. When I click play game, we should hear that little stinger and dusk should start. As I play the game, it should transition into my early evening playlist, all those loops. It should transition into my midnight playlist with those loops. And then if I either win or lose, I should hear a stinger. Let's try to, uh, let's win. Uh, actually, no, maybe, we'll, yeah, let's win. So now, 
as I said, there's a few more things I want to do to make this sound a little bit more interactive, and there's a lot of possibilities of things you can do. I'm just going to try to bring in a percussive element when the enemies come in, and maybe we'll do that with a different tutorial. But let's take a look. So now we know what's supposed to happen. So game's going to play. It should be calling my sound bank. Okay, so there we go. There's my menu music, and it sounds pretty cool. It's working. Now remember that transition should play when I click start, and I should hear my level music dusk. And it should be pretty seamless. So start. That was pretty good. Now, here I am. I'm surviving my bedroom. And my dusk music is playing. Now I've got a gun. And I've got sound effects too. These have been written by a guy who made the game, which is wonderful. Or made some music for the game. So I don't have to do that. I could change these if I want, though. It's the same thing in the event. So I'm going to shoot this little dudes. Try to stay alive. Now, remember we said 70%. So pretty quick here, we should switch to the early evening playlist here it comes i think not yet we're still in dusk soon though see that's a big monster i gotta run away from these dudes ah it's a fun game oh and there we switched and that's a pretty nice little switch i was thinking i might write a transition for this but and i might still but i don't know it it switches kind of nice i think it's kind of cool i don't dislike how it changes so anyway, I'm, I'm just staying alive, trying to survive. All right, okay, running away from these dudes. Ah, there's so many of them. All right, all right, bring it on, bring it on. Okay, so I got 50 seconds left. Ah, see, I got them cornered. So I should be switching to the midnight playlist right away here, I think, ready? Yeah, there it is. And that changed kind of nice too, actually. You know what? I don't know. I, may, I think I like these transitions, the way it's going right now. I wonder if the person I'm writing this for will like that. So, we are almost survived the night. There are other things we can do. And I've actually set up a thing that if my health runs out, a high-pass filter. Ah! You hit me. High-pass filter will come in and cut down on the pitches if I die. Um... That's for not we'll do that for another time. <laughs> so oh, I'm gonna win. Here we go. See my time's almost out. So I should hear my stinger. There it is. Okay, good. So and now it should go back to the menu and my menu music should play. Right. So I've got you know, I'm I'm pretty much close to done here. The um but that's that's a quick overview on some interactive music and how I've implemented it. You can go a lot longer with this, um, you know, and how the loops are set up and some of the powerful things you can do with Wise. Um just quickly, like as I take a look, when you go on one of these playlists, like I can, for example, um, I got oh, I'm in the sound bank view, remember? So I got to switch back to inter interactive music. So you can see here, I've actually um, set this to end here, but it's going to play out. So the new loop I'm going to start next will start here, but this reverb tail will play into it, which makes it blend really nicely. I also, if I wanted to, I could fade it. Here's a fade there. There's a lot of powerful things you can do with MYs. This is kind of just the uh, tip of the iceberg. Low pass filters, high pass filters. But I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Um, good luck.